well, this is a Best Western Carib Resort, Carib Resort, however you want to say it. Uh, really, we're literally, I don't know, a quarter of a mile from the airport. The airports, they take off right here at the end of this driveway. So if you stay in here overnight from the airport, it's a three minute drive. And it's a nice little place for 120 a night. We're staying here post Tortola week in a villa. Take you down and show you. We're staying down by the pool bar area. Take you on a little quick shot of the room and then uh, we'll look at the pool and bar area. Well, we can look at it now, in fact. This is off season, uh, September 2012. There's literally nobody here. It looks like uh, one worker may be interviewing someone. My wife and the bartender. That's it. This is on Lindbergh Bay, St. Thomas, USVI. It's a decent, uh, decent view. I was kind of surprised how nice it was. Uh, locals are having a big jump up over there. I don't know if you can hear the music, but that's the music from all the way over there. That's probably where the party is. Okay, let's go take a quick shot of the room here. Sorry for the jiggly camera. Walking barefoot. Like I said, we got a room. Here's kind of the view from our room. It has some big palms in a way, but... I don't know, it ain't bad, it's just for a one night stay. I know a lot of people coming in on cruises like to stay here. It's room 116 and people uh, pre uh, ferry boat ride over to Tortola or British Virgin Islands for their bear boat charters. And it's just a basic room. It's got nice cold air conditioning, looks like a Queen size bed, it's got good Wi-Fi, not much TV, but I'm not here for TV. It's Sunday football, so I thought maybe I'd see if the game was on. And that's about it. Nice bath and shower. So that's a basic room. I have no idea. Oh, it's got a little patio. Patio, and there's your view. Not the patio. This this glass is horribly dirty. This went this sliding glass door. I'll step out to the side to show the view from the patio chairs. So here's the view from the patio chairs. Lots of foliage. So it's kind of almost semi-private, but you can still catch glimpses. Uh, haven't been here at night since we're only staying here one night, but supposedly. Uh, all the hills light up with all the houses on St. Thomas. In fact, in fact, we were calling St. Thomas uh, Manhattan. We could see it from the 20 to 25 miles it is over to Tortola. And so little lighting on Tortola. You look over here and it's just big bright. Well, not bright, but quite a bit more lighting. So here's a pathway. Uh, I, I'm, I'm impressed for an older property next to the airport. I'm surprised. And it looks like uh, in the high season they have pool, pool table and foosball and darts they pull out here. So pavilion. Like I say, it's a low season. There's nobody here. You know, they just don't go all out. And they're doing a lot of maintenance. And that's uh, across the VI, the, the bridge band, USVI. Oh, so here's the bar. I skipped over it. They say it's just me and my wife here today. That's a nice little view. You're not into the bar. Got the pool area. And then down to a little sandy area. Little cabana. 
type umbrella areas. This is, uh, to give you an idea, this is about 4.30 in the afternoon. <clears throat> Probably usually a happening time, but not in September. So that's my quick little review of uh, Best Western. We, we say carib. I don't know what other people say, but Best Western Carib Resort. St. Thomas, right next to the airport. Also, you got their sister resort, Best Western uh, Emerald Beach. You'll travel along the, along the road right here, along the waterfront. It's almost directly across, and it's right there. They got Italian food over there in their restaurant. They have Mexican food here at the Best Western Carib Resort. All right.